Hey guys, this is Paul Potter, the Grand Lake guy, and today in this video, I'm gonna give you three winter crappie fishing secrets that are gonna help you catch more fish. It's coming up right now in this video. So if you're addicted to crappie fishing just like I am, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give me a like by hitting the thumbs up below. Okay, so in the previous video, we talked about how the thermocline from the summer starts to dissolve in the fall, which mixes the oxygen together, which allows the fish to go anywhere in the lake they want, but the overall oxygen content is actually went down in the fall, making the fish more lethargic, not as active. So now we're in the winter time, and in the winter time, the, the thermocline has still dissolved the oxygen is still spread throughout the whole lake but as we progress through the winter the oxygen level is slowly going to decrease and just go down and down and down until the fish are totally lethargic they're not active at all they don't even need to feed that much because their metabolism is so slow so winter secret number one it's all about how far the Sun is penetrating into the water so what I want you to ask yourself is do you fish on a clear lake or do you have more of a muddy, dingy lake that you fish on? So this is gonna play a key role in deciding how far down the sun is actually penetrating because in a dirty water lake, the sun is gonna penetrate the shallower area, warming up the shallows more. But in a clear lake, the sun is actually gonna penetrate deeper, which is actually gonna warm up a deeper layer into the lake, so that's where you're gonna to wanna to fish. Fish have to regulate their own body temperature, so when it's this cold outside in the winter, anytime we have a sunny day or anytime the sun is shining, you have to pay attention to where the sun is hitting the water because that's where it's gonna warm it up and that's where the fish are going to be because it's more comfortable for them. Okay, so winter crappie fishing secret number two is the rule of four. Now what I mean by the rule of four is you're gonna to wanna to use four poles and you're gonna to wanna to use two baits on each single pole. Now what I'm talking about is basically, you guys have heard of spider rigging before. This is like a downsized version of spider rigging. I like to call it spider trolling, okay? And I only use four rods when I'm doing this. So what you're gonna to wanna to do on these four rods, I have two on each side. So here's my boat. I'm gonna have two rods on one side, two on the other side, and I'm gonna have two baits on it. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what baits I'm using in secret number three and why we're using them because this is really gonna help. So another important thing is I want you to set each pole at a different depth. And I want you to troll less than one mile an hour. I mean, I want you to creep. It's almost like spider drifting. We are putting these lines in the water and we're just gonna let it drift over these laydowns and these stumps and these brush piles that we have found in the backs of these coves where the sun is warming up the water. This is one of the best ways I have found every winter. This is how I fish for crappie and it is effective. Now let's get to secret number three and I'm gonna tell you a scientific reason of why we are using the bait that I'm about to tell you we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using a live minnow on top and we're gonna be using a very bright color on the bottom and we're gonna be using no fish attractants. This is secret number three. In the winter time, fish attractants do not work that well. What? Are you kidding me? No, I'm serious. They really don't work that well. Like bubble gum spray or slab slobber. So in the winter time, whenever the water is really cold, it's just a scientific thing. Smell does not travel through the water when it's cold. So that's why I want you to have on the very bottom jig, I want you to have a bright color chartreuse. And then on the very top, I want you to have a live minnow. I want it giving off vibrations. This is because crappie use three senses to find food and to eat. Number one, they use smell. Number two, they sense vibrations through the lateral line that's going through their body. And number two, number three is sight. They use sight. But since in the wintertime, smell does not travel that much in cold water, we're going to focus on using the last two senses that this crappie uses to find food and catch food. And that is vibrations and that is sight. So that's secret number three. I hope you guys learned a lot because this is something that's really going to help you guys catch more fish. Hey guys, it's going to be snowing here this week. I heard we're supposed to be getting like a foot of snow. And in Oklahoma, that is absolutely crazy, but we've got the camper on our boat, so we're gonna be going fishing anyways, trying to catch some crappie in the snow. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week.